Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And today I want to answer a question that somebody has about using a JPEG image to make it into a cut file. And this particular person in our group today is trying to make the shape of Texas into a cut file. And she has an image from um, that she Googled in Google Images, I guess. And I have done the same thing and I wanted to show you how do you do this. And it's very simple. Um, I've logged into my Design Space account. You can tell that because I have, my name is showing up here in the left hand corner. And I've selected the Upload Images uh, menu feature. And now I'm on this screen. So you, in this screen you have two uploads. You have Basic Upload, which is for your JPEGs, GIF, PNG, and BMP files. And this will cut it in a single layer so it'll give you basically the outline of the images um, so that you're creating a single layer shape okay now um, the vector upload is to be used when you're uploading SVG files because it will create all the different colors and the different layers um, will be not they won't create the colors it creates the layers of the different colors so what we're working with today is a very basic JPEG. So we're going to go into Upload Images. And then you'll come up to the screen where it says Upload an Image from Your Computer. And so I've already uploaded my image from the Internet. And now I'm going to do Browse. And I'm going to scroll down and find my Texas shape. And there it is. And it's Texas JPEG. So I'm going to click on that. Now, you have some options here. Once you upload your image, uh, you have options on how complex it is. Now, a simple image is an image with high contrast colors and with a transparent or monotone background, which is the shape that I have on the screen. If you have something that's got maybe more colors on it, but it's still pretty simple detail, you would use the moderately complex image. And if it's more complex, it means that it has a lot of fine details, it's got some blended colors, it's, it's really maybe got more contrast, uh, lower contrast between the background and the foreground, and um, they're a little bit harder to clean up, and it takes a little bit more work. Well, what we're working with today is just a simple shape of the state of Texas, so I'm going to click on this, and then I'll go down here and hit continue and it brings it up into my screen to um, do the cleanup. Now what you want to do is at this point you want to come up here and grab the wand and I just want to click on the background. Okay, So this is now highlighted the background and, I, this, and lets me see that this is the shape that I want to cut out. Okay, Now I'm going to show you two things. If I wanted to cut out the outline of the state of Texas, not an actual layered image, but I wanted to cut out just the outline of it, I could also click the middle of this, okay? And when I hit continue, it is going to cut out the outline on the outside and the outline on the inside of my image. Okay? So that would be the outline of just the outline, <laughs> basically. That's not what we wanted. I'm going to go back and I want, let me go back one more, and we're going to go back to simple image. Okay? So I'm going to go select simple image continue. I'm going to grab that select erase tool and I'm going to click so I just get the outline um, of the outside of the image, not both. And I think that maybe sometimes people click both the inside and the outside not realizing that what you're creating is the outline of the outline. And um, so now that we have this selected and the center is still solid, then I go to continue and now my shape, you'll see it's, that red line is only around the outside of the image. All right. 
So this is Texas. I'm just going to put Texas here in case I'm searching for it. Now, this is the part that everybody is um, a little bit confused about. So once I go, once it goes to this screen, I see that my red outline is exactly where I wanted it, and then I save my file name here. You can add whatever you want. Um, down here on the bottom of the screen, it says preserve original image within shape, recommended for print and cut projects. Okay, this is a very simple shape. We want to cut out the shape. We're not doing a print and cut with this. There's no color. There's no nothing here. You wouldn't want to make this a print and cut probably. Um, so I'm going to uncheck that box. Okay, once I uncheck that box, now you'll see that that shape just shows you that it is just the outline. Okay. It's not going to print and cut that black outline on your project, which is what it was showing before. Now, when you send this, it is just a cut file to Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to save this. And it'll take just a second. And now you'll see in my uploads here, I have the shape of Texas. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go into insert images. It's going to bring it into my design space account and now I have this shape will cut out. Okay, So uh, that is how you do a very basic upload using a JPEG in Cricut Design Space and a little bit about what the differences are and to make sure that if you want a cut file that you are turning off that preserved image shape checkbox because it automatically comes up, that is a default, that it already selects that. So if you just are creating a cut file, then you need to uncheck that box. So that's how this works. Now I can send this to my Cricut Explorer, and it will cut out the shape of Texas for me. And I hope you found this useful. If you are not a member of our Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group, please come join us over there as we are learning and sharing our um, Cricut Explore projects. And if you are looking for me, you can find me at scrapmecookdesigns.com. And I hope you guys have a lovely day. Thanks a lot. Bye.